All right, we're getting ready for it. Your first alert weather alert day. Let's break this down. Timing. Monday afternoon, that's tomorrow, don't forget, until the evening hours. Here are some of our main hazards. Heaviest rain is likely to be in the mountains, though we could get some spots through the San Gorgonio Pass. Generally speaking, in the valley, it should be pretty light rain, but strong winds are also expected to have an impact, and that impact could include everything from difficult travel, some concerns for our burn scar areas, as well as possible power outages. So let's go ahead and watch how this all shapes up. You can see all that heavy rain that's farther up to the north. We've been tracking it for you. Some light scatter showers to start things off a little bit farther to the west and toward those highest mountain peaks. And then watch over there. Some of those darker color contours move on in between the Cajon Pass into Big Bear. We get some of that dark green there up at the tram as well. And then some light showers that circle around the valley across the Santa Rosas and into the high desert. A couple of those spotty showers might land on your head, so be aware of that. More of that rain filling in across the Santa Rosas, and yes, a little of that pink there indicating that we could see just a little bit of a dusting at those highest peaks. I'm going to say above 10,000 feet. We'll hopefully get a view of that as we head into our Tuesday, but for the time being, let's keep focusing on that rain. It tapers off as we head into the 8 o'clock hour. After that, we start to clear out altogether and you're left behind with sunshine and a nice view of those mountains as we head into your Tuesday. In terms of how much rain I expect us to see, we've stayed pretty consistent, which is good. That means we have high confidence in this forecast. One hundredths of inches is what we will most likely see for areas in the East Valley, if anything at all. Don't expect a lot here. You can't expect that wind, though. Down toward the Santa Rosas, we're getting more into that tenths of inches territory. Farther west as well through Beaumont Banning, one hundredths of inches. A couple spots might get tenths of inches as we look toward areas in the high desert. If you're in Palm Springs, possibly even Cathedral City, you might get some higher amounts in there getting up into that tenths of inches territory. But of course, our main focus on the mountains where we could see anywhere from one to two inches, and that could be a problem for those areas where we've previously seen some of those fires burn. In the meantime, we also have winds that are picking up. We've been feeling them over the last couple of days, really right around now they start to pick up. 10 a.m. Monday, tomorrow morning until early Tuesday morning, we will be working with a wind advisory issued by the National Weather Service. Again, sustained winds between 20 and 35 miles per hour. Your gusts possibly even up to 55 miles per hour. Driving could be difficult and we could have some wind blown objects, which could always result in hitting a power line, power outages, no good, so something to be aware of for tomorrow. Let's track out those winds. Gusts increasing through the San Gorgonio Pass up into the high desert. Sustained winds, look at that, DHS upwards of 35 miles per hour. Those winds continuing to stay strong through the evening, even peaking at the tram, and then starting to settle down into your Tuesday. This is tomorrow, folks. Don't forget, it's your first alert weather alert day. Cooling down, rather warming up. Let's not forget that. Into the 90s, Thursday, Friday, your Halloween. Then we cool down, mid-80s. We'll be back after the break.